Flipping, why? Why do I do that? Why do I want to do stuff to cars? People do this as a job. Why don't I just give it to them? That's an awkward one to get on film. She's your stupid Fire! 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 Hello there and welcome to today's video and a slightly messy Drift Games garage. I'm not being lazy, the reason is because Dave's car right there, if you remember him saying at the Drift Games bash he blew a clutch and now it's just wedged into gear so it's been plunged there. It can't get out so I can't move any of the cars out or anything. The buggy's stuck there with God knows what on. I don't know, it's just got a bit out of hand but we're going to plow through it anyway. So today I'm going to be working on the MX-5. So if you watched any of the previous videos, we put the kit on and everything like that and went completely smoothly until here. Which essentially I stuck an angle grinder in it, angle grinder in it out of frustration so I couldn't carry on wasting my time. So that put a bit of a stop to the build, but a parcel has arrived which is allowing me to carry on. A lot of you were asking about the body kit and where that was from and I had no idea where it was from but as I was looking for fenders I got informed from a crowd in the UK called Firefly Speed Shop that I actually use for over fenders for my NC actually made that kit I had no idea I bought it in Ireland and someone must have obviously bought it from them so for any of you guys wondering it's Firefly Speed Shop in the UK they do lots of MX-5 parts and 350 parts and a few other Parts. I don't know all the parts that they do. So we have some brand new overfenders. Fingers crossed these fit well better than they can't really fit better than the last ones. The last ones were horrendous. And also I got new wings for the drift car. The other ones are getting a bit crusty. And also a few stickers and a keyring. So be putting them on the car. So I took the over fender off, that was more of an actual over fender. It just laid on top of the original wing, whereas this one you can see has a lip, which is technically a good thing. I'd be grinding that off so it's kind of flush so the wheels are fit later on. But because it's got a lip, when you lay it over, it actually won't go over that bit. So I was going to do this anyway, but I'm just going to cut out the arches now just so I can get them to sit um, a bit flusher on and then I will deal with them later on. guys I honestly do love them as far as over fenders go out the box these are a pretty damn good fit the only thing you could criticize on is that but you would usually kind of get that of over fenders Put it around here absolutely fine link it up here really good fit all along here and it even has this line here this is by no means a sponsored video but I cannot praise these guys enough though. Okay, so over fender on. That was actually quicker even with cutting out the arch and putting the over fender on than it was for the original over fender on, so happy days. So the side skirt bolt is under here. So ideally, you want to use the same bolt for this as for the side skirt. So the bolt's kind of covered, looks a bit neater. Um, you need to drill the hole for the side skirt anyway, so it's just kind of the right thing to do. I'm sure you can do this with loads of things, but I have some grease. So I'm gonna rub the head of the bolt in that, screw it into the hole, lay the over fender on. Hopefully the grease makes a mark on the over fender. Therefore you can drill where the grease is and everything goes to plan. Whoa. Whoa. 
and voila, two splodges to drill from. And the holes line up perfectly. Holy crap, like something genuinely just went right. So obviously a lot of you guys saw the rust on this side. People thought I was just leaving it and I was just putting the side skirt over it. That is not the plan. I am going to attempt to fix that today. I'm not gonna lie, I've never done anything like this before. Anything I do is for the first time. And I'm just gonna kind of gonna go with it. I mean, that bit of the car is covered anyways. So, I mean, it's never going to be seen. But obviously I want to try and do somewhat of a job, so I don't know, I'm excited for it. But first of all, I'm just going to throw this fender on and then we're going to attack the rust with a hammer and a grinder, it seems. So what was the hardest job of the world last time is a piece of cake this time. Both fenders on, that is the last of the bodywork. I'm going to do rib nuts and everything like that. I'm going to tidy it up off camera because no point in wasting your time there. Now for the tricky part. So if you're into MX-5s or no MX-5s whatsoever, you realize they do have a problem with rust, like most old cars. And my idea was to cover up the rust, but not just leave it there, as a lot of people were saying in the comments. I may have not made that completely clear. So, <laughs> Well, he just noticed. <laughs> I wasn't even hammering away. That's just the vibrations from drilling and I don't even know grinding. I guess. Well, oh, it needs to come off somehow. Just gonna chip away, hit with a hammer, grind off, and see where we get to. quite a bit of rust. I ain't sure how far back this goes. Have I taken on a little bit too much? Sometimes you ever just wish that you didn't dive into some jobs because what's behind and you can't see doesn't really matter. We're here now, so let's keep on going. Start off with the good side. This looks like we can actually just get a bit of metal. And I am saying, I am no professional. This is literally to seal the car. This is not for looks, it's gonna be skirts and over fenders over the spit. So I just need to seal the car, just to make that clear. Yes, I know it can be done better. Yes, I know I'm probably doing it wrong. But the whole point of this project was that I was going to do everything on it and prove that, I'm not sure what I'm proving actually. <laughs> and the other side just seemed like it kept on getting worse and worse and worse and yeah this little bit over here realized that it didn't want to be part of the car anymore and this bit to be fair i don't think that's going to be too hard again i'm just gonna patch it over and seal the car this on the other hand i honestly do not i don't even know where to start with this what on earth it's just completely disintegrated from the car I really have the horror stories of when you're doing rust repair stuff and it just gets worse and worse and worse has actually happened. So I'm not fully sure what to do. This is the first time I'm doing this. The only thing I can think to do is to cut off this in some sort of a neat way and plate it. To make the templates, I've stolen my girlfriend's cereal box doesn't need it, it's in a bag anyways. Going to charge up some sort of template for this. Hold that thought. We love our drift cars here at Drift Games, but we don't drive drift cars on the road, we drive sensible cars. And if we're in the market for a used car, we come here to Moorfield Motors. These guys have an amazing selection of everything from luxury cars, to first time buyers, to commercials. So if you're in the market for an amazing used car, check out their full stock list online at moorfieldmotors.ie. And if they don't have it in stock, they can source it for you.
Okay, not sure if I should be proud of this, but I really quite am proud of this. So this was the best part of 10 to 15 minutes. Um, yeah, again, it only needs to fill the shape of this. Once you put it in and bend it and tack it into place and everything like that, and this has been held on with one arm, it's not too bad. A few moments later. Just scraping away down here, and then up here started to fall. And there's holes in here. Um, yeah. If I'm gonna be completely honest, when I dove into today, I thought that this was the only play I was going to do. And you know what, I was a little worried about that. This has gone on to a whole new level. I don't even know how to weld. That's the next stage, I need to learn how to weld. Flipping, why, why do I do that? Why do I want to do stuff to cars? People do this as a job. Why don't I just give it to them? That is enough of doing templates. I'm not gonna lie, I'm probably jumping ahead a tiny bit, but I mean, I have the main templates here, and then anything we're kind of going along, we'd be grinding, cutting, and putting little bits in to make sure the car's fully secure, but, oh, hey! So we have, I, I, I stole Wayne's welder, and I got a minute, two minute crash course on the, on the phone, so I'm not really too sure. Again, I've, I think I've done two bits of welding. I did a horrendous one on a skate rail, and then I did the last tiny, tiny bit in my, that car actually, behind the dash, where no one will ever see it. it says Josh was here. I have a fire extinguisher, locked and loaded, and yeah, I've been trying to rush to this part of the day. This is the fun bit. This is the bit that I actually wanted to do, so I don't know, just, do some welding, I guess. Grinding it off makes it look better. That's not even welded. It means not welded. It's not welded. Did you turn on the gas? No. Quickly turn on the gas. That's an awkward one to get on film. She's just a Well, that was a little bit embarrassing. So I'm gonna grind that off, see how it looks, and then weld up the bits that obviously didn't weld. First time probably using the welder without myself, so <sighs> you live and you learn, don't you? I won't make that mistake again anyway, so yeah, let's grind this off. So uh, it turns out much easier when the gas is turned on, but also a lot hotter and more fire. Fire! 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 Oh. Fire! Fire! Oh. As... Yeah, didn't actually realize I was on fire. I actually went through to my belly button and um, singed me. So, yeah, it's by far not the prettiest. I'm gonna grind that down. It's not actually too bad, like as far as the panel goes, like I'm interested to see what it's like when it's um when it's grinded up. I say it now and I say it again, this is by far not a pro job. But it absolutely does 
the job. Like it's not, it's not actually that bad. It's exactly what it needs to be. It's got rid of the rust. It's sealed up. I'm gonna put some, there's obviously gonna be some sealant or something over that. And then in there, if you can see, it's got a plate over, again, sealed and under sealed over that. Like, I think if you dive into jobs yourself, I do kind of think you get further than you thought you would get. So, actually happy with how today is going. I haven't got as far as I wanted to. Uh, one last thing before I go, um, this is because I kind of realize I can do everything else, but yeah, just get into, hopefully, tack these in here, and then that's the arches sealed. And then it's literally just little bits here and there that just need to be filled in. As I am the wizard with the welder now, just gonna plow on with that. Like, if you're looking for weld porn videos, then this is not it. But then again, like, this bit is gonna be so covered by an over fender and also seal all the way along there. You're never going to see it, so you can do all your fancy welds and everything like that. That's my theory about it. If you're not gonna see it, what's the point? If the weld, like, again, it's sealed on, I'm somewhat happy with myself. I feel like I've achieved something. I feel like this is technically, like, yeah. I feel I've really got somewhere. This series on this car was literally to show you how much you can do if you just dive into the jobs yourself. And I think that like welding on a car to me seemed like the most intimidating thing ever possible that you could do. And it's really not, obviously, it doesn't matter about these parts that I'm putting on, they're kind of covered up so much. For a simple job of spot welding up something, yeah, I'll say give it a go yourself. I don't think there's really anything to be achieved by filming anything else, but I will do an update at the end when I've done everything on the car to show you guys. So, fingers crossed, nothing else goes on, and we're cut to when everything is done. So 24 hours later, it was a hard 24 hours if I'm gonna be honest, and the car is now 100% sealed from all of the elements. So I've welded it all up and put Tiger Seal to seal it all the way around all of the welds and anywhere where there was spot welds. So in here, so this plate, this was probably the hardest one to do because it was so awkward I kind of had to I somewhat bodged, uh, I hammered it into place and everything like that. But then again, I think that is kind of what you do. You do hammer it into place. Again, I didn't need to keep the original shape of the car. I just needed to seal it. This probably was the tidiest welding job. But again, you're never going to see it because it's under the Tiger Seal. And that's what I said. You're never going to see any of these welds because they're being covered by Tiger Seal, spray paint and under seal and everything like that. Again, in here, I've actually... so. Got a plate up there, and then this plate. So technically the seal actually went to about there, and I kind of rounded it off because I don't, saying the same thing over and over again. Didn't need to keep the shape of the car, so I made it as easy for me to make a plate as possible. So that kind of concludes the restoration of the MX-5. I feel happy I've got rid of the rust. It should be good for, I don't know, at least, another 10 years depending on how good of a job I've done I guess I don't know time will tell so I'm gonna round this up here thank you very much for watching the video if you did watch the video until now did you find it interesting did you actually learn anything what did I do wrong let us know in the comments below the next stage for this car is getting a new suspension and a wrap so big exciting changes coming next so again thank you very much for watching and we should catch you guys on the next one